Do you believe your time is coming? Do you believe that what you are celebrating today is just a tip of the iceberg? It is just the beginning. Do you believe that? Your time is yet to come. A time to earn more. A time to grow. A time to expand. A time to flourish. A time to be a voice. A voice of authority. A voice and a force your generation will reckon with. That time is coming. But you better prepare for it. You better prepare for that time. Hallelujah. How do you prepare for your time? Child of God, take note of this. To prepare for your time. Ne? In the meantime, be strong. Endure the present circumstance. Be strong. Be strong. Be strong. Paul admonished them and he said, In everything you do, whatever you do, be strong to stand. Stand your ground. The wind may blow. Stand your ground. The storm may rage. Stand your ground. Attacks may come. Stand your ground. Temptation may come. Stand your ground. Don't be moved. Don't be shaken by any circumstances. Don't let any devil intimidate you. Be strong. Be strong. Let the weak say, I am strong. Be strong. Be strong. Giving up is not an option. You cannot give up now. You have come too far to look back. Don't give up. Endure the present circumstance or circumstances. Endure it. If you haven't listened to the message I preached titled Endure the Process, please look for it. Google it or search this. Um, uh, if you're watching on Facebook or on YouTube, search it listen to that message and you will understand that what you are going through today is not because somebody caused to you at least as far as i know that is not always the case you could be going through a process and when god is taking you through a process i outlined in that message reason why god takes us through a process the purpose of the process and how to manage the process hey, the message is so awesome I listen to it it blesses me every day I remember the morning when I was up at 4 30 I picked up my Bible it was Sabbath morning and I need to preach that day I say God speak to me the Lord began to minister to me as I was flipping through the pages of the scripture, I had to take my pen, my, my tablet and began to, you know, put those words that we are coming from the, from the bakery of heaven. Those, that bread that was coming from the bakery of heaven, I had to put them down. Listen to that message. Endure the present circumstance. In preparing for your time, you need to endure. You must endure. Unless you're not interested in, in your time. Unless you're not interested in being celebrated. Unless you're not interested in what God wants to do with you. Unless you're not interested at all, then okay, you can give up. You can give up. Be strong. Be strong. Situation will go a certain direction that may try to drive you mad. Trust me, I've been there. A lot of you watching this have been there also, but you need to endure. You need to, be, you need to endure. You don't have to end your life. You don't have to. In preparing your time in deal. Some people will look at you. You are not in our level. You are not in our class. They will enter a certain place. You are there. They greet others. They won't greet you. 
Festive season like this, they will send a Merry Christmas, Happy Easter to everybody, except to you. Because to them, you are not worth talking to. To them, you are not in their class. To them, you are nothing. To them, you are a non-entity. Don't worry. Endure. Don't pick a fight. Don't hate anybody. It's just a matter of time. I tell you, <laughs> oh, when your time comes, eh, their mind will be blown. Their mind will be blown. I tell you, I have several accounts of men and women who came from there. Today is their time. And when your time comes, it doesn't really expire. You just, you retire, but your time actually came and you made the use, good use of your time. Be strong no matter what they say to you. Be strong no matter what you hear behind your back. Be strong no matter what happens. If you are going through abuse, well, speak out. Speak out. Voice out. Don't die in silence. Don't die in silence. Speaking out against abuse and the persecution is not a sign of weakness. It's not a sign of weakness. So you can speak out, you know, for your safety. Because some people die in silence. You just had me. People die in silence. So you speak out. And be strong. Take a stand. Take a stand. Take a stand in prayer. Be strong in prayer. Knowing well that our battle is not against flesh and blood. But against principalities. Against powers of darkness. Against rulers of darkness in high places. Be strong in prayer. Be strong. Be strong when temptation comes. Be strong. <laughs> when arrows come. Be strong. Be strong. You are not the first to be there. Many have gone through that path. And you are not the only person in that, in that, uh, in that uh, stage. Be strong. Your time is coming. Your time is coming. Be strong. And endure the present circumstances. And secondly, in preparing for your time, learn from your experience. Because you can't go through all these things for nothing. Learn from your experience. Everything you've ever experienced, everything you've ever gone through is a treasure. Experience is a treasure. Treasure your experience. Because when your time comes, your experience now will sustain you then. When your time comes, your experience today will sustain you then. Are you hearing that? When your time comes, please learn from your experience. Remember, the only thing, the, the greatest thing you can offer your generation or younger generation is your experience. It's your experience. You use your experience to educate. You use your experience to guide. You need you use your experience to 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 channel things in the right perspectives. You use your experience to safeguard yourself. Because I've been there. I've had this experience. Now is my time. I will not fumble. I will not mess up. I will not disappoint God. I will not disappoint those that are looking up to me. By experience, if I do this, this will happen. By experience, if I don't take this route, things will go wrong. By experience, if I don't talk in this manner, in fact, uh, things will blow up. Experience, they said, is the best teacher. Learn from your experience. This is one of the ways you prepare for your time. Experience. Né? Experience. How will you know what it feels like to be hungry when somebody comes to you asking for food if you have never been hungry before? Understand that God raises us to raise others. God raises us to raise others.
God raises men to raise others. This is a fact. You cannot come from that wilderness and not help those going through it when all is well with you. When you are raised, help others to rise. Don't break the ladder. Don't break the ladder. Don't break the ladder. Leave the ladder intact for those below you to climb also. Hallelujah. Let's all rise together. Kadima Hotaya. Learn from your experience. Oh. Learn from your experience. Learn from your experience. This is how you better prepare yourself. And sometimes God keeps elongating, elongating a person's time because when he looked down from heaven to the person who is crying unto God for a time of abundance, a time of greatness, when God looks down to that person, he will discover that this person is not yet ready. This person is not yet ready. So all these experiences he's been acquiring, all those things that's been going down in his life, he's not learning anything. So this might as well be one of the, you know, secrets to unlocking your time and season. I mean, very fast. It could be a secret like, oh, all right, I have to be strong. All right, I'm learning from all these things happening. I'm learning. You, you don't need to keep them to, to your brain. Write them down. Write them down. Even the weakest pencil or pen has much uh, uh, greater advantage than the sharpest brain. Because we can forget. We can forget. People easily forget. I mean, human beings forget a lot. Forget a lot. You know, you can feed a dog for one day and the dog will remember you for years to come. But feed a human being for 10 years, they can forget you in one day. This is the nature of human beings, I tell you. So, with regards to your experience, as you are waiting for God's time, or the time, your, your time to come, please jot down your experiences. Learn from those experiences. You will educate others and guide others properly with your own experience and thirdly don't give up on god don't give up on god in preparing for your time do not give up on god for god will not give up on you they may say to you you are wasting your time you're still doing this praying thing you still carrying bible you still going to fellowship my friend wake up and smell the coffee they might tell you things like this don't give up on God. Temptation may come. Don't give up on God. The devil may bombard you with, with um, opportunities to compromise. Don't give up on God. Don't give up on God. Don't give up on, on God. Bread and with integrity tastes better than a whole loaf or truck of bread and by deceit. Crime does not pay. Deception is abominable. Lies don't even go there. The devil is the father of all liars. Every believer that lies, you might profess all you want to be child of God, speak in tongues all you want, but if you lie, the devil is your father. Full stop, point blank. So temptation may come, don't give up on God. Do not listen to those who tell you that this is the opportunity. If you, if you don't grab this opportunity, you are gone. They are liars. 
Can you hear the voice of the devil speaking through them? The same way he spoke through Peter and Jesus said, Peter, and he, Jesus said to Peter, Satan, I rebuke you. The devil speaks, I tell you. The devil can jump into a person, boom, and use the person to talk, to talk you down, to discourage you, to deceive you. You need to be. That's why I that's why I encourage you to make the word of God the standard for your life. Make the word of God the standard for your life. So that when temptation comes, when that liar, when that manipulative beast comes, you'll be able to tell him, shh, get away. Just show him the door and you'll get away. James chapter 4 verse 7, resist the devil and he will flee from you. Don't give up on God, for God will not give up on you. He will not give up on you. He will never let you down. He cares more than you do. There is no need to worry and there is no need to fret. There is no need to cry. Yes, you can cry. It's okay to cry. I tell you, it's okay to cry. Let it out. Let it out. Let it out. Sometimes it feels like it's going to choke you. Just let it out. Cry is normal. It's normal. As a matter of fact, God understands the language of tears. It's, it's okay. Jesus wept. Is he not written? Jesus even cried. Jesus wept. It's, it's, this, this is cry and this is weeping. Crying and weeping, oh, do the balancing. Are they the same? Are they the same? English is not my mother tongue, but in my analysis, weeping is a bit more intense, a bit more severe than crying. So, if crying is wrong, Jesus wept. That must be very. That must be. That must be something way out of proportion. So it's, cry, it's, it's okay sometimes to cry. Let it out. Let it out. Don't give up on God. Don't. Hold on. Hold on. They talk you down. You can cry. You are emotional. If only these people knew how much I love them. If only they know. I. You cry. It's okay. Don't worry. God will not give up on you. We do not have a high priest who is not moved by the feeling of our infirmities. God knows exactly how you feel. He that wears the shoes knows where it pains him, where it hurts him. God knows where it hurts you. You know where it hurts you, but God also knows. Your neighbor may not know. Your father may not know. Your mother may not know. Your uncle may not know. Your siblings may not know. Your partner may not know. But you and God knows where it hurts you. And when the time comes, God is going to heal the affected area. He's going to heal the affected area and fire you up for greatness. That time is coming. That time is coming. This is the word I brought you from the throne of God.